Well, it was a sea of people, colors, and pride today in downtown Bangor. Grace Bradley takes us to the 32nd annual Bangor Pride. Happy Pride, everyone! Bangor Pride has been going on for 32 years. It started in 1992 as a response to uh, the Charlie Howard murder that happened 40 years ago. We have a parade and a festival that is basically shutting down downtown Bangor. We're just here to celebrate. Like, this is my first Pride here, so I'm excited. I just like being here because everyone's nice, honestly. It's one of the first and few things that I can go to in public, I feel like, by myself. Every year it just grows and grows, and I know, you know, Bangor Pride, I think, is so important because there are so many folks who don't even live in Bangor, but we come here for Pride, and it, it's, for a lot of folks, the only time all year that they get to be loudly and visibly and proudly themselves, and so it's just so special. And it's always nice to see uh, organizations that maybe we wouldn't normally expect, so it's so great to see that support coming from places that maybe we're not used to seeing it or we wouldn't normally expect it to come from. Among the multiple organizations present was the United States Attorney's Office for the District of Maine to emphasize their allegiance with LGBTQ plus Mainers. It's really important that they understand that we're here to support them, to protect them, that we want to pass out materials to share with them how to report a hate crime, how to define a hate crime. We also want to send the message to individuals who may mistreat them or harass them or discriminate that that is not tolerated by our offices. Pride is important because we need to be inclusive with everyone respect and the diversity and be supportive. Be free to be who you are and that's really what Pride is about. Being prideful in Bangor and having this be something that really is so entwined hopefully with the city really makes it something that the participants and the attendees feel really supported by the city itself and I think that's really important. As much as there are folks who might tell you that this is maybe propaganda or there's some sort of uh, malignant intent here, the reality is that if we're not here showing folks, uh, young folks in particular, that you can grow up to be happily, proudly queer, trans, non-binary, whatever you might be, uh, the reality is that we know statistically that we're not going to see those kids grow up at all. You know, we're not New York City, we're not LA, we don't have gay bars on every corner, but there are plenty of folks who are totally happy being out proud queer folks here, and I think that can be the example for folks all over the country. Grace Bradley, WABI TV5 News, Bangor.